But you're about to see a passionate, dedicated, and trained people practicing and preparing to enter an extreme sporting event that may change their lives. Do not try this on your own without necessary experience and supervision. Breathe in, breathe out. This moment's what it's all about. Born to be great, your golden way. Don't hesitate. Accelerate. Set for the race. Aim, aim to give it all I got. Mind is set. Gonna reach the high spot. Working hard in order to fulfill my goal. Nothing can stop me from getting what I'm going for. That's being great. I was working till it's late. So I won't hesitate. Gotta get to first place. Hands on the golden plate. I concentrate. Won't hit the break. Just move forward. Accelerate. Welcome back, guys. This is Accelerate. Last week, we saw equestrian rider Jana Meyer win third place in the Europa Show Jumping Competition. In today's episode, we meet nine-year-old motocross rider Tian Murray and watch him compete for the number one spot in the Western Cape Regional Motocross Series. Motocross is a form of off-road motorcycle racing, held on enclosed off-road, dirt circuits and terrains. Let's meet this adventurous accelerator. Hello, my name is Tian Mare. I was nine years old and I did motocross. I play in Wellington. I play with my mom, my father, my sister, and my aunt Elvis. I loved motorbikes, and then I got my first motorbike when I was four. Tian definitely gets his passion and talent from his mum. Um, she's very passionate about sport, uh, so I would say it definitely comes from his mum. My dream today is to be a world champion in motocross. Today. Yeah. Funny term what you use in motocross is all shot, all shot is as you start in 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 your first day you draw in. This is all shot in the scrub. As you you jump, you go by a log and your bike can skip. In the whip, as you go, you clear the jump, you go up, but then but then you then lay your bike and can skip skies. My choice is a risky sport because. When you don't play helmets, you can get injured and, and things can get wrong with your back. The safety aspect of the sports definitely concerns us, as it would concern any caring parent. Um, but these days, with the safety level of safety gear that they wear when they race, they, they're safer on their motocross bikes than they are on their bicycles at home. Um, so we, we take the necessary precautions and um, the level of safety equipment is, is very good in the, in the sport. My coach is Anthony Reynard. He's an uh, ex-national motocross champion and I feel happy about him and it's just fun to be around him. So Tian's one of my, one of my students and I've been involved with him for a few years seeing his growth and yeah, pushing, pushing him to, to conquer all his boundaries and to really get his full potential out of the sport. When I'm on my bike, I feel free, happy and free. I have no fear for much cross. The reason I think Tian and most of his, his friends are good at the sport, but specifically him, they're all a little bit crazy. You have to be crazy to do the sports at that age. I mean, they started like four years old, but Tian's been one of those kids that love jumping. So he loves the adrenaline, adrenaline and the thrill that he gets out of it. So yeah, to, to see him really enjoy the sport, um, I think it really boils down to him loving the speed and the, the adventure that he gets every time he rides, it's always something different and to be riding with your friends on different tracks and different terrains all around South Africa, you can't beat that. My eyes is very understanding and 
als ik vraagt is, alles is altijd achter mij. Als ik ook reis of ik win of verloor, alles nog steeds stil voor mij. We allow, allow him his freedom to enjoy the sport and we certainly don't pressure, put unnecessary pressure on him to perform outside of his capabilities. We allow him to, to grow at his own pace. The event I'm currently preparing for is the Western Province Championship, Re Regional Championship, final round. The upcoming event is the Zone 7 Regional Championship, so it's the Western Cape Regional Motocross Series, and it's the final round of the championship, so it's, it's a really big one for, for all the students, uh, let alone Tian. Um, they've all put in a lot of work and they all want the, the top spot of the championship, so it's, it's really crunch time and they have to produce the results to, to get a, a good finish at the end of the year. The event is important for me because I'm currently leading the Western Province Championship and this race will be determined if I will win the, the Western Province Championship. If Tian wins this event, uh, it's going to be a huge highlight for him and I'm going to be stoked as a coach, um, but I think he's going to be over the moon and his family is going to be well excited. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really big thing and winning a 50cc championship is the start of your career. So from that age all the way through to 30 years old, there's, there's so much he can accomplish and I really hope it's going to be the start of something big for him. After the break, we see if Tian can wrap his way to a podium finish. In the meantime, check out our Facebook page, comment, like and tell us about the type of sport that you do. Get involved and we could be following your journey next. Welcome back. This is Accelerate. Today we at the Zone 7 motocross track following nine-year-old motocross rider Tian Murray compete in the final round of the Western Cape Regional Championship. Can he speed to first place and claim victory against his opponents? Should I win this event, I'm going to be the, the Western Province Re Regional Champion of Motocross. My aims and ambitions for Tian's future is just for him to continue building on what we've started. Um, retain a love for the sport and take it as far as he'd like to. I think if he does get the desired uh, result, then uh, we'll have a little party. If Chen doesn't receive his desired results and everything fails, um, I've seen it myself in the sport in my racing career and with other students, it does happen but it gives you motivation to come back next year, keep training hard, keep working hard, keep putting in efforts and, and fight for the, for the results. It's, the sport is cruel and it is demanding, but if you put in the work, you'll, you'll, get the, you'll get the results at the end of the day. The basic rules of motocross is that if you don't have a helmet, then you can't ride. If you ride in a red flag, then you can't jump. The jumps are not jumping. You can't ride in a red flag, because if you don't have a red jump, then you can't ride in a red flag. You can't ride in a red flag, then you can't ride in a red flag. And if you don't have a red flag, then you can't ride in a red flag. And if you don't have a red flag, then you can't ride in a red flag, so you can't ride in a red flag. Very start in all. The equipment that you what you need for motocross is your elbow pads, your chest protector, your neck brace, your boots, your socks, your gloves. Your helmet, your goggles, your, your um, brook, your knee pads, and your bike. Yeah. 
It's almost time to burn rubber and accelerate. This is the final round of the Western Cape Regional Motocross Series. While I wait for my class to start, I watch the other riders. Motocross is an extreme sport and people can get hurt. I don't let this influence me too much because I love the sport so much. Before we start racing, we have to do a practice. The reason we do a practice is to test the track and our bikes. The race coordinator tells us how to line up and where to position ourselves. As the race coordinator points at us, we have to accelerate. I accelerate my bike. I go over the first jump with ease. During the practice, I mentally prepare myself for the races. The practice round is now over. It is time for the event to start. I'm very nervous of, the, of my first race. And I'm just telling me the whole time, I gotta win, I gotta win. At the starting line, we rev our bikes warm. I'm focused on the starting gate. I'm waiting for it to drop. We all go at once. I want to get ahead of them so that I can find an open gap. I take the first jump. I take the second jump and because it's not that high, I manage to go over with ease. Every race is new to me and I take it on as a challenge that I can defeat. I take the big jump and use it to get over to the other side of the track. I take the rest of the race on full speed. The sand keeps slowing me down. I am getting frustrated by the sand because I know I race faster than this. I still take the turns and smaller jumps with ease. I take the huge jump and I jump really high to save myself distance. I take the second big jump and I glide over the loose sand coming down so I don't fall. I raise my feet off the pedals to find my balance. My mother cheers for me on the track.
There is a big jump ahead of me. I jump really high with my bike so that I can move across a big distance. I use so much speed, I fly over the jump and then I go onto the downhill. I ride over all the tight and loose curves full speed. I want to end this race first place. I am so far ahead of the other riders, it seems I am alone on the track. I take the last jump and end the race. I am second in this race and I'm very happy of my position. While I wait for my second heat, my mom gives me a pep talk and some tips for me to do better in the second heat. This is the final race. At the starting gate, my dad checks my bike to make sure that everything is fine. He knows I hate racing with a faulty bike. I'm focused on the starting gate. I'm waiting for it to drop. I jump ahead. I see all the riders beside me. I race ahead to get in front of the other riders. I feel that all the other riders want to win. I want to end this race first place. I race as fast as I can so that I don't fall behind. I race against my own time. This means I am ahead of everyone. I try to remain as fast as I can. just taken a fall that could cost him the championship title. Can he recover from this? Let's find out after the break. In the meantime, check out our Facebook page, comment, like, and tell us about the type of sport that you do. Get involved and we could be following your journey next. Break, we saw Tian do really well in his first heat of the 50cc class. Tian is now in his second heat, where he just lost control and fell off his bike. Can he still conquer the tight track with all its sharp twists and turns? Let's check it out. I'm so angry that I fell. I get up as quickly as possible. All the other riders pass me. I'm determined to fight my way back up. I keep pushing myself.
I take all the curves and jumps with speed so that I can make good time. The rider next to me is trying to hold me back. but I use a jump and I get ahead of him. I now pass him. I'm riding my bike very aggressively. I am racing to catch up to the other riders. I'm slowly but surely catching up. I pass another rider. I remain steady. I take a high jump and it helps me to fly past the distance. I feel confident that I can finish in a good position. The race is almost over. I take the last curve. I end the race. I came second in this race for my 50cc class. All my motocross friends come running to me and greet me. We are relieved to be done with the race. This race was very difficult because I fell, but I got back up and finished. I feel so happy to have completed the race. I'm happy I could come back from fall. We all go to the top of the hill and we celebrate. At the end of the race, we have a prize giving. I'm not nervous about a prize giving because I know I'm going to be on the podium. Right, second place, the rider that really performed well today. Put your hands together for second place, thanks. Marie. I'm not disappointed. I'm very happy with my position. Tian, you did your best and performed like a champ today. Well done on your podium finish, man. Next week, we meet 14-year-old aspiring Olympian athlete, Reese Monsumi. In the meantime, check out our Facebook page for more news and views.